Hey there, I'm Timri, and today I'm going to show you how to paint a darling pair of stiletto heels. I always like to start off with my four brushes. My biggest brush I have is my fatty. The next brush I have is a little bit smaller, that's my medium. Then I'm going to skip a brush, you'll find your littlest brush, that's your baby. And then you have a brush that's in between, your baby and your medium, and we call that the tween. I also like to sometimes grab my extra large brush right here. And that always helps you kind of fill in most of the, the larger spaces. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and start with our largest brush here. And I'm going to tap a little water. I'm going to go ahead and zhuzh the white. I'm going to push it, push it, move it. I like to push it, move it. That way I get a big chunk of it, like so. And I'm going to go ahead and do a light pink background. So I'm going to grab just a chunk of that light pink. Notice that I don't mix it together. I just chunk it like that. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. You'll notice that when you start painting, you're going to have white moments and pink moments. And that's what you want. You want it to have all those different that kind of like different colors in there, just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and leave space for where I'm gonna go ahead and paint the stiletto heel. So let's go around our heel like so. It's gonna kind of come in. There's our heel, like that. Just grab big chunks. And again, like sometimes it's lighter, sometimes it's darker. And for me, that's okay. I mean, you never want it to be too perfectly done, otherwise it kind of looks kind of awkward. So all of my paintings kind of have almost like a little impressionistic kind of quirky look to it. And everyone has their own style, so you know, you can kind of go with it however you'd like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that background in. I always like to paint a little bit over where I'm going to um, sketch out things, because you never want to have like a ghostly glow on there. Okay. So there's my background. I'm gonna go ahead and do the tabletop. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take my medium brush, or I'm sorry, my fatty brush here, tap a little water. I'm gonna go ahead and zhuzh that chocolate brown. I'm gonna zhuzh the chocolate brown, and my corner just a little bit of black, like so. Go ahead and just get the bottom, get the bottom in here. Again, I like to use like a lot of paint. Notice how much paint I have on my brush, just like so. And when you kind of, pull in, notice how you kind of like pull in some of the light pink right there. That's okay because you kind of want it, you can even corner a little bit of white. See so if you just barely touch it, it kind of gives it a little bit of texture to it. And notice how it kind of has like a little scratchy feel to it. Whenever that happens, that just means you need more water on your brush. So I tap a little water, I'll just smooth it out like so. And again, it's like I'm barely touching it, so I have those highlights on there, like that, just like that. Okay, washy washy. I'm gonna go ahead and washy washy good. I'm gonna go ahead and take my medium brush, my medium brush here, tap a little water, shows you the white. It's okay if it has a little pink in it. I'm gonna grab a little bit, I like to call it ugly mustard. I have pretty yellow and ugly mustard. We call it pretty and ugly. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that ugly mustard, a little bit of white. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the inside of the stiletto here. And see how it goes like a little bit light, a little bit dark, because I'm just chunking, chunking. I don't ever really mix my paint on my canvas. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fill that in. Like so, and look, if you pull in a little chocolate brown right there, that's okay. Look, it kind of gives it like a little shadow like a little shadow. I might even just take a little bit of chocolate and give it a little shadow on the side. We can go back. I'm just gonna get a little shadow in there. I'm gonna grab a little bit more ugly mustard, a little bit of white. Let's bring this one down like so. I'm just gonna bring that down. I'll kind of pop the toe a little bit like so comes like this, and remember, like you don't have to get it right on the first try. You can kind of go back. But this is just gonna be inside the heel. Okay, like so. I'm gonna add a little white. I'm always down for a little highlight. I'm gonna grab a little chocolate brown. Just a little shadow. Just a little shadow right there. Oh, lots of big shadows. So if that happens, okay, no big deal. You just take a little white, just kind of blend it out. You know, and everything kind of happens for a reason, you know? Okay, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it again. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take my um, 
medium brush again. I'm going to zhuzh the black, and I'm really going to push it, move it. Push it, push it, move it. I need to push it and move it. That way, I really get a lot on my brush. If you just use just like a little bit, then you don't get enough paint on your brush. I'm going to kind of like flatten out my brush. Okay. This is happening. Here we go. So I'm going to take it. Your brush can go two ways. Your brush can go fatty, and your brush can go skinny, like that. So in my skinny position, again, I tap a little bit of water, zhuzhi, flatten out my brush. I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm going to go ahead, just go around it like that. I'm just taking my time, taking my time, like that. Notice it's pulling in some of the white from the background, and that looks good. I'm going to kind of come around. I'm going to go ahead and, and see how it picked up some of that white right there? You want that. You never want your, I personally don't ever really want my paint to be super dry. That way everything kind of blends together. We kind of have like the back of the heel here. Back of the heel like so. And then we're going to have the toe. So I kind of mark the middle. And I'm going to kind of bring it down like that. Like that. Just like that. I might put a little bit more black in there. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to take our black, kind of flat, flat it, come over here. Skinny position, we're going to go ahead and do that stiletto, just bring it straight down. Again, see how it got a little scratchy right there? That means I need to tap a little water. Tap a little water, bring it straight down. And then go ahead and bring it up like that. You can always make it thicker, but you definitely want to stick to it being skinny first. Then, then you can kind of go back. So here we're going to go ahead and put that stiletto in. Like so. And then I'm going to take a little bit more black, tap a little water. I'm always tapping water, flat, flat my brush. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Like so. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to move that over. Let's go ahead and put in our in here. Like that. Kind of bring this down again. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot right there. We're going to do our little strappies, like that. We can kind of go back like that, and then we're going to cut it, flat, flatter brush, flat, flatter brush. We're going to cut it down, like so. Just go ahead and go through those strappies. I probably should have done my strappies over it, because see how it goes like that? And then if you put the strappy over it, then it looks like it's on top of it. And we'll go ahead and bring this down, too, like that. Cut it in there. Like that. Kind of bring this down a little bit more. Like so. And you can always go back. I'm just going to wipe this off on my jeans. But you can kind of go back at a little chocolate. Just right in there. A little bit. Like so. Okay, let's go ahead and um, washi washi. Washi washi, good. Okay, I always like, if I mean, if I'm gonna wear my stilettos, I like a little bit of bling, right? So let's go ahead and show you a little white, a little white, and I take a big chunk of white on my tween brush. I'm just gonna push it like this. I'm just gonna push, 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 cute big diamond buckle right on there, like so. We'll go back and add little like highlights and stuff to that. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do another big buckle like that. A little big, big chunk. It's pretty chunky. The chunky kind of gives it a good texture. I might just add a little bit of turquoise. Just a little bit of turquoise. A little bit of white. And kind of mixy mixy it together on your plate. That just kind of gives it like just a little bit color like that. Okay, I'm going to take my medium brush. I feel like my foot is going to fall out of these stilettos, so I'm going to add a strap. So I'm going to zhuzh the and kind of flat flat my brush. 
Okay, here we go. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to skinny it. That, and then I'm going to take my fatty position and hook it around. Skinny. I'm going to take it and hook it around like that. I'm going to come around here. It's going to like hook around like that. Like so. And then we need a buckle. So I'm going to take my, let's take my baby brush. I'm going to zhuzh the ugly mustard, a little bit of white. And I'm not even um, mixing it together. It's just like a little chunk, chunk. And I'm just going to barely touch it. Like that. And notice it's picking up some of the black and the white in there. There's our little buckle. Right there. A little buckle on there. Like so. And then I always like to go back with a couple little highlights, a little white. Take a little highlight there. Take a little highlight. Just barely touching the canvas. A little highlight there. And then come down here. Highlights on there. Barely touching it. Like so. And then finally, I think I need to go back maybe with just with a little bit of chocolate brown. It's pretty watery, so it's almost kind of like, I'm not going to call it a wash, but going to have like a couple. Take that little chocolate brown and I barely touch it just to kind of give it some more texture in here. I just got a big glob of chocolate brown down there. Just kind of giving it some more texture in there. And you can also go back with your baby brush if you feel like you need to show up your diamonds a little bit more. You can take that baby brush and just go underneath it and maybe on top just a little bit just so that the buckle just shows a little bit more. Just so that the buckle or the your diamonds just kind of show up. And that's basically it. So, of course, you always must sign your name. So I'm going to put Timory. And then, we all know gold is my last name, so I always put gold. So, thanks so much. Hey everyone, if you like this painting and you want to see more just like it, feel free to subscribe below. And you can also leave a comment with different ideas that you have for me to paint in the future. If you really love it and like to purchase it, please contact us and it is yours. Check out timory.com to see everything that I do.